lesson for all daily at 6 a.m. Good morning and welcome to another episode of Alpha. I'm Pastor Jermaine Johnson and today we look at the subject to love God. Let us pray. Everlasting Father, know God, as we reflect upon your words, help us to understand them and the lessons that you want to teach us through them by your Spirit. In Jesus' name, Amen. As we continue to explore the book of Deuteronomy today, we focus on chapter 6. Having recounted the promises of God and how faithful God had been to them, the children of Israel, Moses went about giving them instructions as to how to take the land and to thrive on it. The bulk of Deuteronomy, if you may, basically consists of instructions to the children of Israel that would enable them to keep up their part of the covenant relationship, even as God continued to keep up his part, having faithfully fulfilled the promise he made to them through their fathers. And here we have a list of things in the opening of verses. Verses 1 and 2 tells us that the people were reminded to keep the precepts and the commandments of God, emphasizing the necessity to be obedient to the will of God in order to maintain that which God has given to them. Yet in the midst of those instructions to obey the precepts, the judgments, the commandments of God, Moses tells them in verses 4 and 5 what constitutes what the Hebrews call the Shema. Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God is one God. Thou shalt love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. Hmm. With all your heart, you may be wondering how in the midst of listing instructions, rules, commandments that you must obey in order to keep up your end of the bargain. Moses shifted focus to loving the Lord with all of your heart, with all of your soul and with all of your strength. It is quite simple. It is the love for God that will compel us to obey the will of God. Even Jesus teaches us the very same thing in John 14 verse 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. Anything that happens outside of love, a fulsome dedication to God for his goodness to us is actually force and therefore it will be mechanical, more like the letter of the law. But when we are truly transformed by first God's love for us and then by our response of love to him, no doubt it will be the letter or the spirit rather of the law which will be more of a transformational relationship as opposed to a transactional one. The whole idea is that in order for one to keep God's requirements one needed to put his entire being into it. Heart, soul and strength. We are supposed to spare no part of our lives in trying to please the Lord. After all, he's not a tyrant who is just demanding that we love and serve him. But he himself first loved us. By this point in time, the people had seen where God had brought them from and see that God was actually fulfilling the promises that he had made to their forefathers. Enough evidence for them to know that God had their best interests at heart. Today, God calls us and you and me likewise to obey his commandments but we will never do so unless we truly love him with all of our hearts the big question to you therefore is do you love the lord and that my friends is a lesson for all let us pray everlasting father lord god help us to love you with all of our hearts souls and our strength never withholding anything but always giving of our best to you because you have given your best for us. We commit ourselves to you anew and we thank you for the promised land that you have called us to, not the earthly Canaan that Israel and Moses traveled towards, but the heavenly Canaan from which we'll never part again from our loved ones. Help us, Lord, to possess that land by being obedient to your will and by loving you with every thread, every fiber of our beings, we pray and say thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for making it Alpha. Join us tomorrow for another episode and have for yourselves a great day and a blessed week. A lesson for all, daily at 6 a.m.